<clears throat> now you can go. Hello! <laughs> Welcome back to another Bruffington vlog. Today we were, we're just gonna kind of show you guys what we got for Christmas because that seems like a popular thing to do on vlogs nowadays. Mostly what we got each other, a little bit of what our family has given us as well. Let's jump right into it, shall we? This first gift, what do, you, do you want me to like preface it or just show it? Just show it and talk about it. So Tara got me a new dop kit which I've needed very badly. Did you badly. know that's what these are called? For some reason I always thought it was a dock kit. Dop, with yeah, like two dock. P's. D-O-P-P, kit. Yeah. His was all nasty. And I, ha I don't even know where I got it. It's like some... I think it came with like a suitcase. But not my suitcase. I've never had like a, no. a Swiss gear suitcase or... And then along with this I got him a fogless mirror that goes in the shower because he shaves in the shower. Currently I use one that I have to hold. Then I like, I, I put the shaving cream on with my one hand then I have to wash it off to do the thing and I have to hold it so I can't like reapply more shaving cream. It's, it's kind of a pain. Yeah. It's so anyway, pain. I knew that was a pain. So, so it was a super thoughtful gift. I'm, I really like it. Something you need. Something I definitely needed. Didn't even really realize I needed it. So. I realized it. You did. Want me to go? Yeah, you do one. Zach got me something. So sometimes we go off of the whole list of like something you want, something you need, something to wear, something to read. So my something to read was this book called Wonder. If you guys have heard of it, I wouldn't be surprised. It's a it's the number one New York Times bestseller. A number one. By R.J. Palacio. Yes. So I'm excited to read this. I actually haven't really heard much about this book. We just know one of our friends really loves it, and Zach is up on all the reading trends. My something to read that Tara got me is this book called Smarter, Faster, Better by Charles Duhigg. I think that's how you say his last name. Anyway, there's a the he also wrote the book The Power of Habit. You've for sure seen it. It's it's they're really cool books. This one's about how to be more productive, and I like those kinds of books. Yep, and he actually had this one specifically on his list. I had no idea what it was. Okay, next on my list, I often you guys go into the bookstore, you see these all the time. These adult coloring books, yay! And I've been wanting one. I don't have a lot of time to sit and color. <laughs> So I don't really know why I want one so bad, but I did. And so Zach got me this Paris coloring book. And Bonjour has, Paris. And it just has cute little scenes um, from Paris. And I actually started one today. And it was so just pleasant. I started this one today. Good on him with some coloring pencils as well to go with it. My next one is like a fun one that Tara got for me. She got me a penny board, just these little tiny skateboards. They're super fun. It's actually not like a legit penny board. It's, it's not the penny rimable or rhymable. I don't know how you say it. Probably rimable, like on a rim, like you do rims. Sure, but either way, super. I fun. got it on Cyber Monday, so it was at a good discount. So. Yeah, and it's just been super fun. I like it's kind of a far walk from our house to our mailbox. So far. And it's not that far, but it's a little far, and so I thought a skateboard would be fun to have. And I didn't even like this was a total surprise to me, and I love it. I've ridden it it's around our neighborhood I saw, here. Something I have seen you really like fun. whenever we're at Target or at like skate clothing shops. Like he always has to like stop and look at the penny boards, and he's always like, "I want one of these." <laughs> it's one of those things I probably would never get on my own, but if I get gifted it, I would like love it so much. Be so yeah. happy. So that was a great gift. And the kids like it too. They like watching him. Tara's on. a good gifter. My turn. Yeah, your turn. Okay, this one is really great, and for you moms or people who are like planner people. Um, my neighbor, Emily, who you guys have seen on the vlog a lot, she had one of these and it's just really great. It's a planner from um, InTheLeafyTreeTops.com and I can't even like explain it all. I might have to do like a whole vlog on it, but it has just a bunch of like goal setting things. It's not just like days of the week and the month calendar. It has goals, party planning. Journal pages. It, it's geared towards um, Mormons. <laughs> it's like a Mormon mommy planner book. So it has like place to mark off your prayer and your scriptures, budgeting page, goal like for each month if there's like for January it has a happy new year page and you can put goals. At the beginning of every month it has, how can I strengthen my relationship with my Heavenly Father, my spouse, my children, my extended family, and a couple extra paid places for you to put things. It just, I don't know, it's just really it cool. It has inspirational quotes and like sayings yeah. and stuff throughout it as well. Um, you don't have to be a Mormon or to a mommy even this. to appreciate it. Yeah, so it anyway, has it We'll like, try to link them in the leafytreetops.com. Yeah, so I'm really excited to get to know this. Um, planner. It has like family home evening page, family council page, just like things that you always need to be focusing on. It's a little overwhelming, but I'm excited to get into it. But 
things I always know I need to be focusing on, but there's no one to remind me, and so now my planner will remind me. And this is one thing I knew I wanted, so this is like one thing I told Zach, but he did it, and it came early, then earlier than it said it would, so it was actually here for Christmas, yep. which was great. Yeah. So yeah, love that. Okay, the next one, I don't have a physical thing for it. I, there is, she gave me a basketball, a little stuffed basketball for Christmas, um, and it was symbolic of tickets to the Utah Jazz Cleveland Cavaliers game in Salt Lake City on January 10th. So I'm super excited to go to that. Um, I love the Jazz, kind of a diehard fan here since I was a little kid. And so that was a really nice gift. And it's- the, And they're the actually doing good this year. They're doing really good. And like, that's a huge game. I usually get him tickets to the basketball game at like for either for his birthday or for Christmas, but I've done it so like every year I was almost not gonna do it. Yeah. And so since they were actually doing good, I was excited to get you one. Yeah. So and really I was looking at all the different teams and I texted his brother Dalton to see like, would the Cavaliers be like the best game to go to? Yeah. And he said yes. Yeah. I figured because they're the I'm reigning the they're won. the reigning champions. Yeah. yeah. So. Anyway, that was a super thoughtful gift, and I'm really excited for it. I did good with my gifts. And it's year. great that it's just like it's next. It's like two weeks from now. Yeah. It's not like next year in March or something, yeah. which is kind of fun. There were know. some, but I figured I'd want him to go before the baby came because we're not gonna have much more time after that. Yeah. Good my thing turn. Yep. Okay, this one's a great one. They're all great. Zach got me an Ergo Baby 360 uh, baby carrier. <clears throat> Can you see it? Can you see it in the camera? Baby goes in the carrier and the carrier goes on the mom. Um, so I was really excited because we had recently gotten one for my sister as a gift saying like, you guys have seen the pregnancy reveal video where me and my sister tell each other we're pregnant. Well, we kind of made a little bit of money off of that video because it has a million views. So we wanted to kind of thank her for being in it and we got, so we got her this baby gift. Anyway, I was a little jealous that we got that for her because we didn't get me one. And then he got me one, so now I'm not jealous. And I'm gonna have a carrier. I've never had a good carrier. So you probably saw this on the on the Christmas video. That was the something to wear, wear the baby carrier, and right, wear yeah, you can wear, wear your baby, which is kind of cute. And those ones are supposed to be really good. You can put on like frontwards, backwards. The baby can be front facing. Yeah, or they finally made the 360 way. where the baby can be forward facing, which might like it seems kind of like a no brainer to me, but I guess it's hard to make carriers that do that. I don't know. So anyway, that was a good one. I'm excited to use that one. The baby. Um, and then the last one that Tara got me, you've probably, maybe you have, maybe you haven't. I, I wear this watch every day and I've worn it every day for probably three or four years now. But then Tara got me this new watch for Christmas. And I really like it a lot. It's a Nixon watch, like my old one, but this is a cool one called the Century. It's got like a little bit bigger face. So it's that's- a pretty watch. And I was a little worried because it's like a rose gold metal. But I kind of like it. But that's kind of in right now. Yeah, it goes really so. good with a lot of my like brown stuff that I Might wear. Might go out of style faster than your gunmetal one. I don't anyway, know. Anyway, I really like it. It's really I'm nice to watch. I'm wanting to get him a new watch for multiple Christmases now, and I finally just did it. No, I have a couple watches I can choose from. Watches are one of those so dumb of things, along with sunglasses, that men love to have, like expensive versions of. I don't get it. All right, and so the last big gift that I got this year were was, I don't have it with me. I'll put up a picture of it. Um, new lights for my videos. I've been really, really wanting, and like, it's kind of dumb we're not using them right now because I have them, but I haven't like opened the box really yet. Um, just new, what are they called? Box soft, lights? Soft boxes. Soft boxes um, to use in my videos. So, something I needed. That was something I needed, right? Yep. So, I was really excited about that, and I'm really excited to use them, especially because I'm going to be hopefully doing like less daily vlog style and more legit. Creative thought content. out creative content and so I'll be I'll have time to actually set up the lights and like use them so this guy he's so smart um, but anyway that was like my that's like my big gift right yeah yeah well the the baby carrier and that okay yeah. those are like the two more big mini ones. items yeah that's what I that was those I got more than that my mom we got, got some stuff yeah. some from his family tons of little um, I got I got some new stance socks and some other stuff oh I also brought in this one I wanted to show this, this is, a fun is one. this is the shampoo that I got which my dad was like shaking his head. He's like, what have I done? Like, who are these kids that, that I've raised? <laughs> but um, my, our sister-in-law is a he hairdresser. He specifically asked for those. Whenever I go get my hair cut, they always like wash your hair and they always use like some shampoo that has like menthol in it that makes your hair all like, your, your like scalp all like tingly and like feel so good. And so I got this and seriously, every day I look forward to like this moment <laughs> where I get to put this stuff on. It gets and him it out makes, of bed. It's like, it's, it feels so good. It's like so nice. So anyway, it's like a little luxury that really makes a big nice. difference. 
So, tea tree, special shampoo by Paul Mitchell. <laughs> Whatever. But anyway, oh, it's, yeah, it's so and it smells good too. It's like got peppermint and a whole bunch, whole bunch of stuff. I really like it. It does smell good. So anyway, <laughs> gentlemen out there and ladies, treat yourself. <laughs> get some nice shampoo. I haven't, I haven't gotten nice shampoo in a long time. And um, what else did we get today? Kind of a Christmas a present. To, well, you got that. What else did we get that? <laughs> oh, we got a new car. <laughs> we got a new van, you guys. And I'm really excited about it. And so is he. We're both excited. I'm really about excited it. about it. Even we are it's van a people, minivan. unashamedly. And uh, we got it at a good price. We got it. Just, it looks great. So, yeah. That was a big Christmas present to ourselves. We're very excited about that. And obviously, because the third baby is coming and we can't fit three babies in our Accord, our Honda Accord, so now we have a Honda Odyssey that we will be fitting three babies into, plus a bunch of other crap because it's huge. And maybe three more babies down the year. We can fit. Six yeah. of us in there. We're not this car. Or forever. eight of us, including us. So there you go. Yeah. We're so blessed. We've got so much stuff, and obviously Christmas isn't about that sort of stuff. But yeah, um, it's fun to like talk about it and to get new things, um, things you need and things you want. Obviously, the real reason for Christmas is um, to celebrate the birth of Christ and also to enjoy giving gifts. We gave a lot of really great gifts too, so it was really fun to shop and give to our family members. And now it's over. Christmas is over, people. Mm, I get really sad. <laughs> I don't want to think about it. Um, but again, we're very grateful to all of our family and friends who gifted us different things and to each other. Thanks for joining us for our Christmas gift uh, reveal explanation. Recap. Recap. Our Christmas gift. Christmas gift details. recap. Details. I don't know. But thanks for joining us. We had a lot of fun um, talking about our gifts. And we hope you guys will like this video and subscribe to my channel. Um, there are some big changes coming in the Bruffington channel. So tune in this next probably tomorrow or next week and you guys will you can stay up to date on what those changes will be that's all we have to say thanks for watching we'll see you guys later thanks Bye. for watching